Jeff, honey, come back and get one of these bags. I gotta go to the bathroom. So, drop it on your way. I can't wait. Kid power. The greatest untapped energy resource in the modern world. It can certainly move when he wants it to. Who's that thing with Sharon? Her boyfriend. She's been going with him for over a month. You know, he came to dinner last week. And he's a really very bright boy. What's his name again? I don't believe you. His nickname is Oop. Oh, yeah, Oops. Sounds like a mistake. Well, it's not Oops. It's Oop. Well, I'll never get used to calling him. What's his name again? You make the salad, honey, and I'll start the fire. Yeah, just a minute. I want to put some of these mesquite chips on. Come on, Dad. Here's your glove. Um, Dad? Can I have a 22? Oh, not again. But Dad, he said I was getting bigger. Besides, Tommy's dad gave him one. I don't care if Tommy's dad gives him a shock to play with in the bathtub. He's crazy. I'm not. You're 12 years old. 12? Just a number. Depends on how many smarts you got. Sometimes the smartest things you do are the things you don't do. No 22. Read my lips. That's what's his name. Tell him to come over for horse burgers. Hello. That's you. I'll take this. Hi. I'm going to go over to Tommy's. Hey, now, wait a minute. Just a minute. There are about 500 copies of the New Haven Register in the New York Times that you promised to tie up for the recycling drop. Now get at it. Yeah. At it. about ready. It's just going to be you and... What? You okay? What? Oh, yeah, I'm starved. We go broke over the weekend? Oop is coming over to take Sharon to the movies. Mom! Tommy has a 22. We don't, so he's eating at Tommy's. So it's just us? That's right. So... How would you like your hamburger... How do you think?
Walter Stanton's office, please. Mr. Stanton's office. I have Ben Ryder. Uh, a question. This is important. Is there enough depth in the wall panel to allow for a pressed metal bulkhead to support this console? I'll uh, ask Mr. Stanton to give you a call, Mr. Ryder. When, when are you coming in with the design? Well, I should be ready by Friday. Oh, and tell Walter I have a surprise for him. Just a moment. Ben Ryder wants to come in on Friday. He says he has a surprise for you. Tell him I'll settle for an accurate cost estimate. We'll see you uh, Friday at 3, if that's all right, Mr. Ryder. That's fine. Thanks, Helen. Yeah, hello. Ben, I love you. I will not have to exchange anything. Well, that's very nice. I love you too, sweetheart. W what are you talking about? The ski outfit. I think it's the nicest surprise I have ever had. I'll meet you on the slopes of love. You're a little bit of a rogue, aren't you? Slopes of love? What is this, joke? <laughs> Darling, I've got to get these specs over to Ally by Friday. Otherwise, Stanton's going to be nuts. The fur jacket is so beautiful. I'll model it for you when you get home, okay? Donna, I'm not sure I un... Donna, do me a favor. Take a look at the labels and tell me what store this comes from. That's Allen's Ski Shop on Chapel Street. Hi, Mr. Ryder. Was your wife pleased? Do you know me? Not before this morning, but we do now. I hope there's not a problem with the ski outfit. The delivery service said everything was okay. When did I come in? This morning. What was I wearing? The same thing you have on now. How did I pay for it all? Cash? I have never seen so many hundred dollar bills before. Mr. Ryder will be glad to exchange anything. Ski equipment should fit perfectly. No, everything fits. What really amazes me is you've gotten all the sizes exactly right. You've never even come close before. <laughs> Thank you. Kathy, you wanted to go. A week ago, you said you were hot to go to the Cape. I told you yesterday I might not be able to. Look, my dad called. I told you this yesterday. But I got the house and the boat and everything. I got it all set up. Greg, please. I just can't this week. Now turn around at the next... No, week. we're not going to New Jersey. I'm not going to waste a week sitting around with your family when we've got a chance to spend some time on the Cape. I have to go home. I promise. Well, I'm not going. Not this week. Stop the car, Greg. I said stop the car! What the hell do you think you're doing? Going home. What are you, crazy, Kathy? Come back here. I told you I'm going home. You're nuts, you know that? Nuts!
going to New York. Well, New Jersey, really. I'm heading to Philadelphia. I can probably take you all the way. That'd be great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I can take you all the way. All the way. Delivering for Mr. Ben Ryder. Yeah. You Mr. Ben Ryder? Yeah. Sign here. Have a good one. Camarillo, California, for the Whitewood Mental Hospital. Here's to you, monkey. This is just the beginning. But it makes a good start, doesn't it? Well, I'm not finished with you yet. to do something for me right now. Yes, Harry. Because today I am celebrating. That's nice, Harry. What are you wearing now? Nothing, Harry. Get another angle of this. Get another shot. Strangulation. Sometime last night. Rape? Looks like it. Shirt button. It was in her hand. Listen up. I'm going to need uh, photo identification of all the tire tracks. I mean, it's all of them. All right? Hey, boss. This ID gives Catherine Ann Scarnato, Short Hill, New Jersey. Daughter of Anthony J. 
Scarnato. Anthony Scarnato, Tony Scar. This can't be a mob hit. Tony Scar's daughter, nobody would ever touch her. What else you got in the bag? Six bucks, some change, a Yale student ID card, and some snapshots. That's well, all right. Okay, Lieutenant, I got what I need. I'll talk to you after the autopsy. Oh, just a minute, Doc. Eddie, I want you to call the watch commander on the radio. There's going to be some heat in this one, Doc. This, this guy, Tony Scar, has got a lot of weight in Hartford. Well, where's the heat going to come from, Jim? The crime commission? Oh, we'll know that when it happens. Well, one more thing, Jim. The man may have poison ivy. How would you know that? Because well, he stood where you're standing. Damn paramedics just drove the ambulance over the tire tracks of the guy. Well, good morning, Mr. Ryder. Morning. I thought you weren't seeing Mr. Stanton until Friday afternoon. Well, actually, I came to see you, honey. But you tell Wally, uh, uh, Walter, that I'll talk to him first. And then you and me can take the rest of the afternoon off. What do you say, huh? <laughs> Mr. Ryder, are you sure you want to see Mr. Stanton? Oh, yeah, I want to see Mr. Stanton. I want to see him. Mr. Ryder? Hey, Wally! You're not supposed to do that. I have to see how it works. He told me he knew how 22 works. I have to see how this 22 works. I'm not so sure I should lend you my gun. He made a deal. He already took my $22. No, 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 give me the ammo. It goes in there. I know where it goes. There's seven bullets. That ought to be extra. The bullets were included in the deal. Now stop trying to back out of it. Mr. Ryder? Mr. Ryder, you can't come in here anymore. I would like to talk to Walter. I want an explanation for this. He left instructions not to accept your calls or to see you. What is this? He sends a messenger with a letter firing me just before I'm supposed to come in and deliver my preliminary drawings. I'm sorry, drawings. Mr. Ryder. I have my instructions. Now get out Helen. of here and don't let him see you again. Helen, I've been fired. I'm entitled to know why. I want to talk to Walter. Please. Just a moment, please. I hope you understand this is your last time in this office. Walter, what the hell is going on? I mean, what does this letter mean? It means what it says. You're finished here. Now, wait a minute. Walter, this contract means a great deal to me. This is the biggest project I've ever had. Now, I need this job. I got a right to know what's happening. Now, what's going on? You've got a lot of nerve coming here. You were so drunk, you don't even remember being here. You spent 15 minutes shooting off your mouth about what a lousy project we gave you and what a bunch of incompetents we were. Now, wait, Walter, Walter. That wasn't me. No, then who the hell was it? You're a serious disappointment. Go on, get out of here. Honey, I told you I love you, but I do not want any more surprises like this. We cannot afford them. 
Now listen, Ginger, I do not care how good the odds were. Your birthday's still a long way off. No, I'm not. I'm just saying keep it up. Look, I am not threatening you. I'm just saying we're way over our heads now. And we cannot afford any more of this stuff. Hey, Eddie, where are the lab reports on the tire tracks? Going back later. Um, yeah, they were all uh, police tracks. The others were the new Canaan police. They got there first. Wonderful. Wait a minute. Lieutenant, there's a guy named Ben Ryder here who wants to talk to you. He's waiting out front. What's his problem? He's the same guy that filed all those complaints about the beach patrol. I remember. Just what I need. Send him in. Get his file. Come in. Lieutenant Condi, I'm Ben Ryder. Uh, I know. Look, Mr. Ryder, I hope you didn't waste a trip down here. I don't have the time or the staff to entertain complaints about patrolling the beaches in this area. That's a park patrol problem. Well, Lieutenant, this is personal. You um, want to report a crime? No, I want to prevent one. Have a seat, please. Okay, go ahead. Lieutenant, um... I have a twin brother. His name is Harry Ryder. He was uh, committed to Whitewood Hospital in Camarillo, California on what was supposed to be a life commitment for assaulting a young girl and uh, murdering her. Uh, where did the crime occur? Uh, Los Angeles. But I just found out that he was released about a year and a half ago. And I thought they should have notified me, but they didn't. Were they required by the commitment order to notify you? Uh, no, uh, well, I thought so. Lieutenant, look, I have reason to believe that my brother Harry is right here in the New Haven area and that he intends to harm me in some way. In what way? Has he contacted you? Uh, no, no, I haven't seen him. Uh, well, so far he's just been impersonating me. Uh, you know, buying things in local stores and... Uh, if he's writing hot checks or using your account, that's fraud. No, it's nothing like that. He's paid cash for everything. It's more than that. Well, has he made a physical attack against you or any member of your family? No. It's just... You see, we're identical twins. Our relationship is much closer than brothers. Now, I know he's here. And I know he wants to do something to me. Well, Mr. Ryder, I can't take a criminal complaint without some criminal act. You'll have to call a lawyer. Maybe there's a basis for some civil suit here. But there's nothing that I can do. Now. Sorry, boss. The coroner's office needs you. Excuse me, Mr. Ryder. I've got to move. But, Lieutenant... Uh, I'll tell it to the California authorities to see what they've got on the whereabouts of your brother. Let's go. Hey. Just for the hell of it, I want you to uh, check out this guy's brother, a Harry Ryder with the LAPD. Hmm? Got it. God is broken for you, Tony. I'm bleeding from a thousand wounds of sorrow. We loved Kathy like she was our own. I know. I know. God bless you, Sal. God bless Maria. Give me another drink, huh? A stiff one. Sal, come sit. Sal, I'm gonna make a few changes. I'm gonna let Louie handle the fat bellies in Atlantic City. What about me? Sal, I need you in Connecticut. You know the setup. I'm gonna need help to find Catherine's killer. You honor me. Kathy was like a daughter to me.
Jeff. What do you have there? Let's have it, son. Well, I was just pretending. It's not loaded. You got ammo for this, don't you? Don't lie to me. I know you. Come on, give. I'm going to teach you a lesson about guns you're not going to forget. What are you doing? It's loaded. And loaded guns are dangerous, aren't they? Aren't they? Don't, Dad! Don't! What are you doing with Tommy's rifle? I didn't mean it, Dad. I just borrowed it. Don't lie to me. Don't, Dad! Don't shoot! The real bullet! <laughs> Call an ambulance. Hurry, hurry, Ben. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Honey, I know you wouldn't do anything to hurt Jeff. Yeah, you know and I know, but does he know it? Does Jeff know it? Poor guy must feel so confused. Ben, he's our son, and, and he knows his father. He knows that he I just can't stand the idea that he even thought it was me. I know. No, you don't. You really don't know. Harry's the one that knows. Sweetheart, he's setting me up. He went down to Allied Motors and put on some sort of a drunk act. Stanton thought it was me. Stanton fired me. He let me go. You understand? I lost a job. I don't have anything. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ryder? Yes? It's a slight concussion. No signs of internal bleeding. Should be drowsy for a day or so. He'll be nodding on and off. But you can stay with him now if you want. Sharon, I want her here, too. Until we can get police protection, nobody is safe. Not one of us. Okay. I'll be right back. Dr. Berger, 4207. Dr. Berger, 4207. I see you to drop by, Eddie. Sit down, have a little snack. I don't eat before bedtime. And it's Sergeant Trolska to you, Genevieve. It's catered. We're careful people, Eddie. We watch what we eat, we watch what we say. We can talk here. You understand, Eddie? Little gnocchi con formaggio. My favorite. Cannelloni alla Siciliana. Sure you won't change your mind? 
We're very careful people, Eddie. We like everything to be just right. You know what I mean? I'm careful people, too. Spicy food hurts my stomach. That's too bad. I got a friend of mine whose daughter's just been murdered. Maybe you know who I'm talking about. Maybe. This friend of mine, he thinks maybe the cops don't like him so much, so they don't try too hard to find the scum that killed his little girl. Everything that comes in on this case, he wants to see first. Everything. Why? We'll pick this crud up eventually and he'll be put away. Sure. Then what? Maybe the charge sticks. Maybe uh, the guy gets 20 postponements. Maybe he gets 18 months in a nut house. You know how it goes better than I do. Happens all the time, right? It happens. Well, that ain't gonna happen this time. Remember, my friend wants to know what's happening on the case before it goes through Lieutenant Conde's channels. That's official police business. How's Ginger? You got a really young, beautiful wife, Eddie, with expensive taste. She likes those weekends in Atlantic City and Miami, doesn't she? Some women, they just love to gamble, don't they? Must be hard to uh, afford too many of those weekends on a sergeant's salary, huh, Eddie? Shame on me. Look how rude I am. I forgot to offer you some coffee. I don't drink coffee. Now, this is a special brand, Eddie. Very special. I bet Ginger would love some of this coffee. You see, it's got some of her markers in here. Wow, these are big ones. Here, yeah, take a look for yourself. Go ahead. Oh, I got a little care package here for you, too. And when we say we want to see everything first, we mean first, Eddie. It's a trick. No, son, it's the truth. When we were kids, even our own parents had trouble telling us apart. Let me see that football one again. Look at this one. They even tried separating us in school, putting us in separate classes. Harry was always in trouble. He was always the one being punished. Why don't you tell us, Dad? Yeah. Why don't you trust us, Dad? Dad? Hmm? Well, I thought about it. I talked it over with your mother, and we decided not to burden you with it until you got older. I think it's all right now, so why don't you tell them? Listen. My brother killed someone once. He wanted me to make a false confession to get the police confused over how much we looked alike. He thought he would beat the case that way. Well, I couldn't do that. He said I betrayed him. He twisted it around so that he felt that it was my fault. Look, I never thought he would harm you. Believe me, I'll never let him get near either of you again. Never. I promise you that. I call the police. Lieutenant Condi said he was coming down. Now listen to me. I don't want you to worry about anything. Someone's going to be right here with you, right around the clock. He looks the same as you, Dad. Even the same clothes. Except he talks kind of crazy. You know, Jeff is right. You'll never be able to tell us apart. Listen, we need a signal. What kind of signal? You know, something between us, something uh, that will always let you know it's me. Something that Harry can't find out. Something like, um... No, I better not guess. Harry might uh, find out. How? You choose, Jeff. Let's see. How about a wink? Oh, that stinks. Harry would guess it in a minute. Hey, I got it. Pull on your right ear with your right hand, like this. Ollie Crandall. Harry Brand, Ollie. How's it going? Hey, how you doing, my crazy friend? I was just on my way home. Well, I've just about wrapped up things here on the East Coast. Yeah, when are you coming back? The market was up big for the day, and you were way ahead of the rest of the pack. What's it total, my friend? The whole portfolio? 
Uh, not again, Harry. Come on, not the darts again, huh? The darts never lie. All right, all right. Hold on, this will take a minute. I'm fast, but I'm not Einstein. You got 250,000 change. That's very good. Very good. Sell it, Ollie. I'm feeling lucky. Did you ever feel lucky? Like you can't miss. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Ryder. Good evening. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm so glad you can come over. I appreciate it. Hi, young fella. How do you feel? Okay. I want to go home. I told the police it was okay to talk to Jeff if it was okay with you. Well, uh, you feel good enough to tell Lieutenant Condi everything? Yeah. Well, I was just coming through the woods, pretending to be a scout, you know. And I had my friend Tommy's rifle that I borrowed. And then this guy, my dad's twin brother, Harry, he jumped me and he started shooting at me. How did you know it was Harry if he looked just like your father? Well, he looked like my dad sometimes, but sometimes, well, sometimes he didn't. What do you mean he didn't? When did he stop looking like your dad? Well, it wasn't looking different so much. He didn't sound like dad when he got mad and hurt me. My dad wouldn't do that. It was Harry, his brother, the crazy one who kills people. Doesn't your father ever get mad at you? He tried to shoot me. My dad wouldn't do that. Hasn't your dad ever hit you? Just a minute, Lieutenant. You're suggesting that Ben would do this to his own son. And you're suggesting that my husband is staging this entire nightmare. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mrs. Ryder. I'm a policeman. I'm just asking questions. But my dad never hurt anyone. He doesn't even spank me when I need it. Mr. Ryder, can I talk to you for a moment? You don't believe us, do you, Lieutenant? Mr. Ryder, your brother Harry was killed three months ago in an automobile accident in Seattle. That's impossible. You asked me to check, Mr. Ryder, I checked. Six months after Harry Ryder was released from Whitewood Mental Hospital, he married a young woman named Ellen Rafferty. Three months ago, according to the Washington State Patrol, they both died in an automobile accident. Can't be. That's wrong. I would have known. Do you understand what I'm telling you, Lieutenant? I would know if Harry was dead. Well, I'll send you a copy of the coroner's report. If I were you, Mr. Ryder, I'd consult a psychiatrist before you get yourself some real trouble. Good night. And one more thing. Don't let me find out that uh, your son has had any more encounters with Uncle Harry, or I'll press charges against you for assault and child abuse. Got it? three times. Why don't we just go inside and lock the door? No, I'm going to look around out here first, then we'll go inside together. It's okay, honey. It's all clear. I don't care what that police report says. I know Harry's alive. I just know it. You know, when we were very young, about Jeff's age, maybe younger, we were on a Cub Scout hike and Harry fell in a creek and almost drowned. Well, the minute he fell in, I knew it. And I started running. We were two miles away. And I knew it. 
If Harry were dead, believe me, I'd know it. I believe you. Well, let's hope the next thing Harry does, he leaves tracks, because that's the only way we're going to convince the police that... Ben, no more Harry, okay? I don't want him to come in between us. I love you. What do you want from me? I didn't do anything. Nobody's accusing you of doing anything, Anderson. But someone killed Kathy Scarnato. This is a murder investigation. What do you want from me? Have you reached my father yet? Not yet. We learned from friends of Miss Scarnato at Yale that you frequently argued with her. Is that right? We know you struck her at least twice, and that you argued with her on the afternoon of her death. I didn't hit her. Who says I hit her? Were you having a sexual relationship with Miss Carnado? Yeah, sometimes. And when was the last time that you saw Kathy? The night that she went to see her parents. Yeah, we had a fight with her. No, we didn't fight. We what argued a little. What about? She wanted me to drive her to Jersey. I wanted her to spend a few days with me on the Cape. I want you to tell me everything that happened. Charles could deliver, Tony. Now you deliver, Sal. Here's a WPKS news update. Connecticut State Police have identified the victim of a brutal sex murder as Catherine Ann Scarnato, daughter of New Jersey crime czar Anthony J. Scarnato, also known as Tony Scar. The body was found near the Giddes Park exit of the Merritt Parkway. Another. White Street Station, Sergeant Edwards. Hey, man, you know that girl I got killed over by the parkway? Well, uh, I think I see the car, man. Yes, sir. What's your name and phone number? Hey, uh, later for that one, man. Did you get a license number? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it right here. Let me take a look. Oh, here it is. Uh, 783 OPT. Uh, maybe BT. 783 OPT. Now, that's just one digit off from the plate on Ben Ryder's station wagon. He goes on to describe the vehicle quite accurately. Yeah, these anonymous tips just screw up a case. We need physical evidence. Now, you actually believe he assaulted his own kid, don't you? I don't know. I think he's hung up on this identical twin, though, the one that died on the West Coast. The crazies don't crack. They just get crazier. What do you think, Doc? Identical twins are a mystery in themselves. Genetically, they're virtually the same person. Clones from the same cell. But the other one is dead. Let me put a prosecutor's question to you. <clears throat> if one identical twin's a psychotic murderer, now, isn't it likely the other one's going to turn up with more or less the same traits? If one twin is killed, the other may feel the loss so deeply that without even knowing what he's feeling or doing, he might try to uh, fill the void by reconstituting uh, the lost twin within himself. Ben Ryder may actually believe his dead brother's committing these acts. His behavior coming to you in the first place uh, could have been a disguised cry for help. All right, we'll search Ryder's house, his office, his car. If we find anything else, we'll bring him in. I'll get a warrant. Let's have some music, Charlie. Take it easy, kid. You ain't going nowhere. Kathy was a nice girl. You should have never hit her, kid. You should have never hit her. And you should have never left her on that highway alone. That was your big mistake.
There are no cars. I don't think anybody's home. They're at the hospital. I checked. We got a warrant. Go to it, Eddie. Nothing downstairs. Looks like they match. <laughs> Jeff is looking better, huh? Wants to go home. What do you think? You think it's safe? Honey, I wish I knew. We better send the kids to your mother's for a while. Harry doesn't know anything about your family. Okay, I'll call her and then Oop can drive him up tomorrow and then what are we gonna do? Well, first of all, I'm not gonna let us be sitting ducks for Harry anymore. Donna, we've got to find him. We've got to find him before he does something worse. Mr. Ryder, will you come with us to the New Haven Police Barracks? Are you arresting me? If you want me to, I will. We just want to talk to you. Will you cooperate or will I have to put the cuffs on you? Okay, we're going to get this cleared up one way or another. If they ask questions, they're going to have to listen to my answers and do something about this. Call Salinger, honey, would you? That's my lawyer. Do you mind? No, sir. Get in touch with Harris. Tell him that Mr. Ryder is coming in voluntarily to talk with us. He'll want to sit in. You stay here with Jeff until you hear from me, okay? Let's go to town. Listen good. There's a make on the man that killed your friend's daughter. Benjamin Ryder. R-Y-D-E-R. -E He's a psycho. He tried to kill his own son and he'll probably get off on an insanity plea. But we're holding him now. You understand? This is what you wanted, isn't it? Well, you take it from there. Cops are holding a guy named Benjamin Ryder for Kathy's murder. Looks like we're too late. No, no. We get some bozo to make a confession. Then when they release Ryder, we nail him. Now, let's go back over your movements on Tuesday. Other than your wife, is there anyone that can account for your whereabouts? No. I was working alone in my office all day. Now, look, look, what do you think? Answering... He believes he's innocent. He believes his twin is performing right. these acts. It's a classic schizophrenic reaction, reinforced by the factor of the twin. This man may actually have a split personality. What is it? Is this your shirt? I don't know. I have a shirt like that, yes. Why? We searched your house. We found this in the hamper. The button is missing. What does that have to do with anything? The missing button from this shirt was found in the hand of Kathy Scarnato, who was raped and murdered sometime late Tuesday night. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not Harry, not again. There you go. Immediate reinforcement of the delusion. Oh, God. Tenant, I told you. I told you that he's dangerous. Now you've got to start listening to me. I am listening to you. Where were you last Tuesday night? You think I did this? Well, they're going to come up tomorrow. Yeah, Sharon's boyfriend's going to drive. No, Mama, it is not that one. This is a boyfriend you have not met, and he is a good driver. It's just going to be for a few weeks, okay? Okay. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Oh, Mr. Ryder. Yes? That's quite a boy you got there. Yeah, he's a tough little monkey. I think we'll just keep him here tonight. You can probably take him home tomorrow. Uh, your wife should go home, get some sleep. She looks quite worn down. 
It's been a tough week for her. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate all your help. Hello? Hiya, honey. I've just got a few minutes. I'm calling from a pay phone. Uh, listen, I'll meet you at home in uh, half an hour. Oh, and leave Sharon with Jeff. Ben, what did they want? Oh, it's all right. I've got good news. Everything's going to be all right. I'll see you at home. Ben, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I don't care what that death certificate says. It's wrong. He's alive. Harry's alive. I know it. He's alive. Don't you understand that? And he's trying to get even with me. Because you wouldn't give him an alibi at his murder trial. That's right. You got it now. He's destroyed my business in one stroke. He's attacked my own son, and now he's framing me for this. And he's out there free, and you're holding me here on the strength of a lousy button. We had an identification that placed your car in the area. Oh, really? Who was it? Harry? Yeah. This just came in from Bridgeport, and Ryder's lawyer is here demanding to see him. Send him in. What's your cell? Hi, Ben. Hello, oh, Jim. What's going on, gentlemen? Well, it depends on who you ask, but boy, I'm glad to see you. Are you, you guys filing charges against my client? I'd like a simple yes or no. You've had him in custody for two hours. And we'll hold him till we get the lab tests on the shirt and the button. Look at this, will you? Somebody just confessed to the murder of Kathy Scarnato. And you can't hold my client while you've got another suspect. Come on, Ben. That confession was crap, and you know it! We'll pick him up again! In 24 hours! Maybe you'll have a warrant instead of just a hunch next time. Considering it's Tony Scar's daughter, I think your client would rather be in custody. Now, you be careful, Jim. That's not going to work here, and you don't say a word. Just make sure he's available for questioning. Uh, he's cooperated fully, hasn't he? I mean, as I understand it, he's the one that came to you for help? Come on, Ben, let's go get a drink. Uh, we'll put it on your tab, Jim. Ryder did it, I'm sure of it, and we'll have him on that shirt button. That's one he can't spit out. In here. Oh. We're going to celebrate. They caught Harry. Would you believe it? They picked him up right outside the hospital. Oh, you got to wonder. Hey, take it easy. I'm right here. Oh, I'm so worried. Were you? Oh, yes. Well, there's nothing to worry about anymore. They've got Harry right where we want him. Mm. He's not going to talk his way out this time. Oh. I want you to sit down and tell me everything. I mean, what happened? Did you actually see him? I mean, what do the police want? Ah, they just wanted to ask me a few questions. I'm tired of questions, and I'm tired of Harry. The only thing I'm interested in now is you. You love me? Of course I love you. Good. Good. Ben. Oh, I've waited <laughs> so long. if you try to leave this house in the next half hour. You understand?
What's the matter? Ben. Donna, what happened? Ben. Huh? Ben! Yes, it's me. It's me. To a lot of trouble to spring you. I wanted to take care of you myself, but Mr. Scarnato decided to deal with you personally. It's the old packing house over towards East Haven. Yeah. You know to cut off. Yeah. And drive carefully. You realize you got the wrong man, don't you? I'm not Ben Ryder. I'm Harry Ryder, Ben's twin brother. I heard about your twin brother. <laughs> For my twin brother. <laughs> I'm not Ben Ryder. I can prove it. You're making a mistake. I don't make mistakes. I correct them. Donna, that woman, that's Ben Ryder's wife. She could have told you I'm not Ben Ryder. I love your stories. You believe this guy, huh? <laughs> hey, maybe it wasn't your wife we pulled you off of. Maybe it was her twin sister. <laughs> Don. If those men have Harry, they're going to kill him. I hope they do kill him. No, if Harry's dead, we have nothing. Ben, they'll kill him. I saw the look on their faces. We'll have to call the police. Uh -huh. They have no reason to believe any of this. The police will never believe me unless I can prove that Harry exists, dead or alive. Look, we haven't got much time. They'll pick me up tomorrow. Can you get dressed? I knew we'd have a car parked nearby. It's exactly like ours. It's locked? Yeah. Well, here goes. Ah, shh. I think that cop car is still nearby. Here it is. Harry Brand, 154 Post Road, New Haven. No trouble at all, Mr. Brand. I'll have a new set of keys made for you first thing in the morning. Thank you. People are losing them all the time. Good night.
Lechner and Mir, Seattle's finest full-service brokerage house. The office is closed now. Got some more boys coming in the search area really good, Tony. He won't get away. We got cars on Dixwell Avenue in the Whitney Crossroads. We'll find him by morning, Tony. I know he's in the neighborhood, Tony. What are you doing, Molly? Oh, no, Tony, no! <coughs> Direct flight, 5566 five, to Seattle. Let's go. Well, let's call the kids first. No, I feel safer at the gate. I had this eerie thought. The guys who grabbed Harry are probably looking for me right now. I've got this eerie feeling that this isn't going to end. What do you mean they're gone? The patrol car was there all night. Their car didn't move. We checked the house in the morning. Nobody at home. I knew that confession was a phony. Put out an APB on him. And get me his lawyer over here right away. That's even better. You know, you're getting very good at this. I think the B in brand is almost perfect, but that D needs to look more like a K. Well, if Harry can be me, I can be him. This is it. Let's go. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to wait here. Wish me luck. Okay. Yeah. Harry! Down here. Harry, good to see you. Welcome home. Have a seat. Thanks. It's good to see you, Oliver. Oliver! The East Coast has turned you into a three-button tight pants, my crazy friend. This is Ollie, who's been busting his butt taking care of your portfolio. Well, let's take a look. You and your darts must have been smoking something good. I couldn't believe that Rex refrigerator situation. I'll give you a printout on all this later. I just wanted to uh, total. 300 and change. Sell it at the market, Ali. Oh, no, I think you're making a big mistake. This I've got this tax shelter I'm looking into back east. I'd like to check this afternoon. All right. Sign this, Harry. You want that envelope out of the safe, too? Uh, yes, I'll take that with me. Simon, get this out of the vault for Mr. Brand. So tell me, Harry, what is this tax shelter? A bond? Well, uh, it's kind of a quiet thing. It's not my usual. A design firm. A one-man operation with a breakthrough concept. Excuse me, Ollie. I need another signature for Mr. Brand uh, for the uh, envelope. Simon, you would need a signature from your wife to go to the bathroom. Uh, right there, Mr. Brand. Came in on the early bird, Harry? Champagne as usual, I see. Come on, Simon. Time is money. Fortunes can be made even as we speak. Mr. Brand? What? My pen. Oh. Simon. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, we haven't seen the high end on this swing yet, Harry. Don't stay out too long. You know, the best tax shelter is money. What, what's the name of that design firm again? Well, I can't tell you right now, Ollie, but when it makes its move, I'll let you know first. Take care of yourself. Woo! 
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Get back. Okay. Can you give us the name of the victim? Now. Sal Genovese, extortion, bookmaking, numbers, prostitution, murder. Twelve indictments, no convictions. He was a smart boy. He never got caught with his thumb in the gravy. You know what I mean? Greg Anderson. I knew Genovese in the old days. He always cheated. You know the kind. Never made an exception. Walk with me a little, Eddie. Let's reason together. First, we question Greg, and he disappears. We question Ben Ryder. He disappears. Looks like we got a magic touch. Now Greg's body shows up with Tony Scars and Forcer dead with a smile on his face. How does it add up to you? Tony Scar's got a long arm from Jersey, huh? How long you been a cop, Eddie? 18 years. What did he pay for you? How much does a cop like you cost? Hey, come on, Jim. What's the street price for a rat cop like you? Oh! He bought you, Eddie! Oh! You sold us! You sold that kid Anderson to a bunch of hoods! You sold Ryder, too! Right out your resignation. Hand it in when you're done with your gun badge and ID. Said, I don't even want to see you! If I do, I'll probably kill you. Now, get out of here! Get out of here! This is your wife, Harry Brand. Oh, let's see. Oh, Ben. Eight hundred and seventy-six thousand four hundred and ten dollars. Buy a bedroom house and rent it. Jeez. A vineyard in Sonoma. Four hundred and seventy-five thousand. Three hundred and fifty acres in Ellensburg, some ranch. Hey, mm. look at these. This is over a million in bank books. Well, this man is rich. I mean, he is rolling Driver's in Driver's license, credit Why cards. Why did he come after us? Social security. A whole set of identification for a man named Harry Brand. That's the name he used with the stockbroker. Hmm. Harry made up a whole new personality just to cover his tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, money. Harry always loved money. Big money, he called it. How in the world did he get all this? Look at this. This is in the name of Harry Ryder. This is a deed of gift from Sean Rafferty to Harry Ryder and Ellen Rafferty Ryder. Sean Rafferty? Isn't that the name on his death certificate? I don't remember. Here. Mm. I can't believe this. I just can't believe it. He murdered my daughter. My poor little girl. She was good, you know. She was a good person. She wasn't very sophisticated. She didn't have a lot of experience with men, but she was a good person. What kind of man would do such a thing? A very sick one, Mr. Rafferty. I'm so sorry for you, Mr. Rafferty. Is this your daughter? I feel so guilty. I knew in my gut what he was. She was so happy for the first time in her life. Mr. Rafferty, you identified the bodies, both of them. How did you know it was Harry? I wasn't absolutely certain. Both bodies were burned so badly. But I, I knew it was my daughter. I just assumed burned it was him. I, I, I was thinking. I, I don't know. I don't know. I should have known he was around somewhere. I should have known he was too rotten to die. 
when my wife died, she left a $2 million estate for Ellen. Ellen and Harry were only married three months before she was killed. The money disappeared. I didn't care about it then. I, I, I didn't even think about it until afterwards. Mr. Rafferty, we have found the money. Here it is. What? Almost the whole two million. And all under the name of Harry Brand. Mr. Rafferty, Harry has murdered a woman in Connecticut, and the police think that Ben did it. We have to find Harry and prove that it was him. We can't go back to New Haven without finding him. Can you help us? What do you want me to do? The money's the key. It's the money. If we can tap him out, all his assets, one by one, he'll come out. I guarantee it. He'll come to us. Get me Ernie Deems. Ernie can vacuum assets better than any mafia accountant. I hate the forms. Almost done. Um, may I inquire if you have any need for leveraging your investments, Mrs. Ryder? Please let me know if the bank can be of any assistance. I will. Uh, Mr. Brand, this uh, automatically gets in touch with your accounts in all four banks. It scans the signature and matches it up with all of them. The uh, money will be withdrawn and electronically deposited here with us in Mrs. Ryder's account. It's as simple as that. Would you sign this debit for me, please? Well, that ought to do it. Right, Mrs. Ryder? Mm. Thank you. Now, we have the uh, cash withdrawn, accounts closed, funds deposited, and you have a total of... Mrs. Mrs. Ryder, you have $1,742,000 in change on deposit here with us. Uh, would you like to become a member of our board of directors, madam? Oh. No, nothing like that. I just wanted to centralize my holdings. Uh, well, it's been a pleasure helping you. Uh, call me any time. Uh, let's have lunch. Oh, well, you have been so very kind. You will be hearing from me. Well, bringing in an account of this size is a real feather in my cap, <laughs> Mrs. Ryder. <laughs> Who knows, they might put me on the board of directors. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Brand. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. That's Rafferty's money. Don't get any ideas. <clears throat> well, invite me to lunch. We'll discuss it. Holly, it's Harry Brand. Well, hello again there, crazy man. Listen to me. I knew you couldn't stay out of this market. What are you lucky darts tell you now, huh? Listen to me, Holly. I'm running short on operating capital. I want to draw 50000 out of my margin account. <laughs> Holly, are you listening? Stop kidding around, Harry. You came in here this morning and closed out your entire account, but I knew you couldn't resist that buy signal from leaving. Now, what... God, I didn't know you were coming, Harry. I'll go clean up the place right away. Take it easy, Tina. Let me catch my breath. It's just the bathroom in the kitchen. Relax. Give me a drink. Okay, right away, Harry.
What's going on? Nothing, honest. Um, nobody called. I didn't call anybody. Did you have a good trip, Harry? You didn't do anything? No, no, I stayed right here. I didn't even call my mother. Should I take your shoes off, Harry? Or massage your... Uh, no. Uh, no, thanks. All right. Did you see your mother? No. No, I, I promised you that I wouldn't. Please don't hurt me, Harry. I didn't do anything. How long since you've seen your mother, Tina? Not in six months, not once. Well, why don't you go see her? You told me... I want you to go see your mother, Tina. I want you to get out of here. I can go, really? Go. Oh. Are you sure? Take the car. Keep the car. It's yours. I can really go? This just isn't another game? No. Don't you want your clothes? Can I just go? Please? Clean out your bank accounts, too. You know, I've been thinking of putting this house on the market. Oh, and Harry, I'm learning to love champagne. Harry? Harry? to Harry on the phone. I think he's right here in Seattle. Well, let's call the police. No police. They might tip him off. Besides, they might pick me up instead. I've got a better idea. The old hunting cabin up on Cedar River. I gave it to Ellen as a wedding present. It's on the peninsula. How do you know he'll come there? Ellen and Harry spent their last night there together. She was killed on the drive down. Thanks, Sean. That sounds perfect. I'll make sure he comes. Let me have this. Wait for me in the car. I'm sorry, Mr. Brand, but this credit card has been canceled. fire a pistol before? No. Right, pull this back, use two hands, squeeze the trigger. Try it. Hold your wrist. Pull that back. Yes? That's right. Ben. Ben. I'm sorry. 
It's all right. It's all right, Joe. You're thinking. No, I'm scared. Good. So am I. Now we have to hurry. You have to cover the front and back. You take that. Ben, the police should be doing this. We're beyond the police. It's between him and me now. This is crazy. We don't even know if he's coming. He's coming. I know it. He's here. Now, stay by the windows where you can see out. Put out the lights. I'll be out on the porch. If you go outside like that, you'll be a first-class target. I've got some dark clothes upstairs. You better change. You're right. Just like cowboys and Indians, eh, Ben? Only this time the Indians win. You don't know how to play this game, do you, Ben? You're too soft. But not as soft and sweet as our lovely Donna. Yeah, but who is? Except, maybe Sharon. Now, there's a relative I'd like to know better. Yeah, a lot better. Sean? Think about it, Ben! The game is over. I get the little princess. This is what you're gonna get, Harry! Rafferty, get back in the lodge. Rafferty? Sean! Rafferty, you all right? Rafferty!
right back where we started. There's no way out. Harry, beating us. Well, the police always thought that Harry was dead. They'll just have to believe that Ben Ryder is dead now. You'll just have to get used to calling me Harry, Mrs. Brand.